everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that I've got here at the jewelry store where I work, and it helps me to prioritize and organize, and in the meantime, we get to look at all the goodies together. So if you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out and do this again. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday. In the description box below, there's emails and uh, eBay links to uh, get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. If you have something in mind or if you just want to say hi, <laughs> please send me a message. Uh, but today we're going to get into some more goodies. So let's not wait. Let's just get into it. Okay, let's get into it. We have a little box, a little tan velvet box and that's where we're gonna start Ooh. <laughs> and it's pearls we have pearls these are really pretty though oh they're kind of a uh, beigey like they're darker but they're fake <laughs> they're not real pearls but i like the graduation to the bigger ones i'd say they're probably glass let's see what the clasp says and it is a sterling clasp. I really like the color on those actually. Hmm, okay, good start. Good start. I think we'll leave the, the box in the shot for this one. I don't think it's gonna be in the way. And the first thing I'm pulling out of this bag is three watches. Three older ladies' watches. And this says Saima Tavanus. It's a really cute little face. And it, those might be diamonds there. The band is like this. And at the clasp, let's see. Champion made in Canada. Hmm. I think that might be just the band. Actually, I'm starting to think the band was added after the fact. But we'll test those diamonds there. Let's put that to the side while the diamond tester boots up. And we'll look at the next one. So next up is this one. Another little square face. It's a Bulova. Swiss, Swiss parts. And it has a safety chain on the clasp. Bulova, Bulova quality and the wind up it's cute I don't wear watches but little old ladies watches are very appealing to me <laughs> they're so small and cute and is it ticking aha it is ticking that's a good thing when it comes to a watch hey let's test these diamonds now Let's see what we have. <gasps> Look at that. They're diamonds. Oh, I ran off the thing there. Hang on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely diamonds. That's one of my favorite things to say. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I think both of those might have a good value. Bulova is a good name. Now here's another one. It's on more of a... I guess that's a braided leather and here's the face it's a Bruin Bruin sorry Bruin Bruin it also winds I'm just trying to move the hands out of the way so we can see the name properly yeah there Bruin very thin <laughs> the back of it Bruin Gildite I'm guessing we have gold in the face but it looks like it's rubbing off here so maybe maybe not in that decorative spot the strap is not necessarily my taste, though I've just mentioned that watches in general aren't my taste, but um, I mean, it's cute. It's still cute. And Gruen is another good name. So hopefully we've got three little winter watches. Here's a ring. It's disappointing. It's copper and it's got vertigray and it's pretty basic. But thin and basic rings right now are 
pretty hot and trendy to stack them and to wear them like part way down like a demi ring this one doesn't work for me like that but if it cleaned up it might be worth seeing what we could do with it okay next i've got a, a ziploc bag Ooh, with some stuff so let's see what's in it oh dropped something okay first of all look at this itty bitty little cross it's so tiny oh wait it's an earring i thought for a second that it was a like a lapel pin oh there we go so i'm just looking for the other one now and here it is those are quite pretty small not gold uh, the post is not gold so the earring is likely not as well and plus it's quite magnetic but those are cute I'll put them on the edge over here and next up is another pair of earrings these ones gold tone with a little rhinestone or CZ in the middle there no marks on them at all I don't think they're gold not magnetic either though look a little closer here no I wouldn't think they're gold they don't look it to me um, and I would be shocked to see a stone set like that in real gold kind of a gypsy setting but it's not something you see a lot of anymore and here's a bracelet one of these well it looks like a medic alert bracelet but uh, it's not or perhaps it was I wonder what's underneath of this but it's it's a souvenir piece from the Empress Hotel in Victoria which is a beautiful place Victoria is a, a tourist destination on Vancouver Island and the Empress Hotel is one of the main attractions there I would say and here's a pair of earrings <clears throat> if I could free them there we go these are kind of cool so they're one-sided like it's got that sort of swirly enamel and a textured gold tone the other side is flat so there's only one way to put them in but the, again the posts are not gold and they're very magnetic but they have a cool style I think anyway personally okie dokie here's another watch and it looks like this it's got the name Milan Milan and I like the strap it's got a geometric kind of pattern adjustable in length and let's see if there's anything on the back side of it here Oh, it's still got plastic on the back so it may be plated but I don't think we have any gold stainless steel China but there's these stones on it I suppose we could test those stones and maybe to put our minds at ease I'll test these little dudes too in the meantime let's carry on to the next item while the diamond tester build or powers up again this is Janet's Janet's ID bracelet it's in rough shape it's steel from what I'm looking at made in Japan Janet sorry guys I should have done an intuition test on that one okay let's check the diamond on this one nothing nope so it's just a fashion watch but it's in really good shape it's quartz so it would need a battery It'll probably end up in a watch lot at some point. All right, here is a necklace. And it's got like a circle of life pendant on it. And we'll just do this right away to see. Slightly magnetic. Diamond tester is still on. So while we're here, before we get close. Nope, not diamond. But still a cool pendant that's a nice... A nice look and it's on a gold tone snake chain and there's the clasp I have a, a, a white gold 
one about the size of a dime. It's really nice. From my mum. For what? What was that for, mum? My 30th birthday. When I turned 30. <laughs> okay, here we have now a necklace, a gold tone curb chain necklace. It's got sort of a texture in it, giving it some extra sparkle. It's a really nice color. What does this say? This says GEP JWI. So gold plated, gold electroplated GEP. Um, it's not marked as silver, I don't think. Let's check the clasp to be sure. Yeah, so gold electroplated um, base metal, I suppose. And then there's also oof, a bracelet to match with the same tag. But look at that. Look, <laughs> super magnetic. So some sort of base metal with a gold electroplating. Oh, and another one. What? This one's missing that tag but it's very clearly the same the same okay a little pile of gold there we'll just scooch you over doo, doo, doo. and here's a bracelet a rope gold gold tone rope chain bracelet let's start with our magnet and it is quite magnetic when it comes to silver unless this magnet like will pick it up off of the off of the desk we We'll still count it as as silver this has a nicer lobster claw but still no marks but it is uh just costume oh yeah i was going to test one of these let's see then oh really not a diamond okay now we can all sleep tonight hey <laughs> Is that gonna drive you crazy? She's got a diamond tester right there. Why wouldn't she just test it? And here is a super cool chain. Look at this link. Hang on. Look at how pretty that is. I really like that. Mmm. Hmm. Let's take a look at the clasp. Well, it's not gold, but it's doing a... Oh, shush. Sorry, guys. The diamond tester screams at me if I don't turn it off, which is probably a good thing. But So it is magnetic, but it's not marked as silver even. But that's pretty fun. I'd layer that with some other stuff for sure. For sure. And then here's another one. This is like a herringbone, kind of. That's an interesting link as well. Ooh, that's pretty. These would be amazing if they were real gold, hey? And there's our clasp. No marks on it. Slightly magnetic. So again, just a fashion piece, but but we still like it. We still like it. All right, let's get something else out of this bag. Okay, the first thing that's catching my eye in this bag here beside me is the whole world. That's pretty cool. It's on a silver tone uh, rope chain. And let's check its authenticity first. Oh, it's a jingly one. I like that. Let's see. Nothing. Oh, 925. So we have a sterling silver rope chain. And then the pendant is this, well, it has seen better days, but it's the globe, the earth, and it jingle jangles like that, like that sound. But it is in rough shape, so it won't end up uh, on our, in eBay, except for in a lot, I suppose. But that's pretty cool. The whole world. Okay, next up, out of the same bag, 
things are a little bit mumbly jumbly let me just dump it out we have a couple of rings coming up here this one i think we've had the same one um on a different episode but it's like this little illusion diamond not real and then there's this one with what cougars lionesses i'm not sure 925 mexico cute little silver ring here's another ring a piece of tiger's eye love me some tiger's eye and that's set in silver i like that that could be for a man or a woman i wonder if we could shine it up let's see how the polishing rag treats it on this side here Hmm, it looks pretty roughed up. I don't know how much we'll be able to save it here. Hmm, not good. Not good. I'd try, I would try a cleaning solution on it, but it's not promising. Oi, focus, come on. Well, it says sterling. Is it just that beat up that it needs an actual buffing, maybe? Maybe could be all right oh my goodness another one the world again this time all silver this time we have a mark on the bale sw nickel silver with nickel so i wonder if the ball is silver and then the continents are nickel maybe but it's a jingler. It's another jingler. Okay. Here's a pair of earrings. They jumped out at me, literally. And they are these half hoops. Really wide and chunky gold tone half hoops. I love the look of these. I would wear these, but I think they would sit funny in my ear, personally. Um, but this is a look that I love in real gold too, and that's popular right now. Chunky. And what does that say? Richelieu? Richelieu. Let's take a look with the loop. Huh. I can't quite tell what that says. Oh. Vendome, right? H A Oh my god, it's so hard to get it with the loop. I can see it easier with my own eyeballs, I think. Yeah, I think that says Vendome. Well, that's okay then. Vendome being a, a part of Coro. And here's another pair of earrings. We've got Silver and turquoise in a bear paw and sawtooth setting there. They're hollow and lightweight. And there's no mark. But I'm sure they're silver. Those are pretty cool. Let's see. Let's buff one up next to the other one and see. Let's see how that goes. Oh, yes. Very shiny. Those are cool. I think I'll probably list those ones. They got kind of a, like a boho kind of vibe. All right, here's another cool piece. This is a choker, and it's got these glass bezel set purple pieces. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I feel like it would be super annoying to wear. Always flipping them around, trying to make things lie flat on your neck and everything. But I think they're really pretty. I think it's a cool, a cool thing. I'm looking at the clasp. I don't see a mark at all for 925. And there's, I don't know if there'd be something on those bezels because there's a few of them, but that's really cool. 
very pretty. Let's get it over here and droop it for some purple color in the scene. Here's another ring. Oh, that's nice. Jade and diamond question mark. I'm not sure. There's no mark in there. Whoops. And where does it fit? It fits here on uh, my pointer. It's probably like a size 10. And I guess we might as well test the diamonds. I don't doubt that that's real jade. It looks like it. Um, nephrite jade. That's really pretty. We'll put that there for now. Oh, it's ready already. Let's see. Nope. Cubic zirconia. There we are. I like that. I like jade. Jade is cool. Here's a toe ring. A little flower and curly Q filigree toe ring. 925, a little sterling silver 925 toe ring. I've never done toe rings myself. Maybe that's something I should try this summer. All right, there's another pair of earrings. Faux pearl and rhinestone. And the back of them are like this. They look like little pineapples, kind of. From the back, they do, anyway. Not so much in the front. Okay. We're just cruising along here. This is pretty. Ooh. Okay. This is a pendant on a chain. And here's the pendant. It's got like a feather design with turquoise and I'm guessing coral. Because they are often paired together. It's on this thin silver rope chain. And it is marked 925. It slides through this tube as the bail and it's ES sterling. Not sure what the ES is. Maybe I can find something out, but maybe not. Either way, that's a winner for sure. That'll end up listed ASAP, which is really hard right now because we are in the middle of making a new website and gosh does that take a lot of work holy moly here's another toe ring and it has feet on it <laughs> that's kind of funny ironic ironic toe jewelry that's what i'm into okay oh what are you let's see a pair of earrings in silver and they look like this See how that lights up? I don't think that's jade. I think it might just be glass. I can't think of a single stone that's got a color like that other than like emeralds, obviously. But I like that, the setting as well. And they are marked 925. Hmm. I wonder if we can find out a little something about that. It's definitely not jade. It looks quite a bit like it's just glass, but I could be wrong. Here's another ring, and this one has malachite. I love malachite. I do. Ugh. But this is not a very awesome example of malachite. It's got very little banding. Like, it's not very pronounced banding. But that's definitely... Ew. Oh, that's so gross in there. That's definitely one that could be cleaned and put for, out for sale here in the store because uh, we have quite a bit of malachite in the store and I just think it's so beautiful. Oh, here's a pair of earrings. Kitty cats. Like a pressed metal design of kitty cats. Um, I don't see any mark. I thought I saw something on the shepherd's hook there for a second. We can try with our magnet. Not magnetic. Hmm. There you go. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting that guy. Sorry. Okay. What's next? I'm trying to find matching things here to show. 
There's another pair of hoops, sort of an open cage design. It does have gold tone um, posts. Ooh, look, that one wants to come out. But the you can see things peeling and chipping away. So as much as I think they're nice, they are on their last legs. Ooh, cute little pendant, little purple pendant in silver. And I'm not sure what to call that stone in there. I know purple turquoise isn't a real thing. Sterling AD. But I suppose that could be, you know, purple turquoise. Hmm, that's really cute, actually. Definitely want to have that purple in our world. Okay. Here's a pair of earrings. Some hoops with a lever back, like this, and they are like a double tube style. They feel solid, but I don't think they're hollow tubes. They have some weight to them. And I don't see a mark in that one, or that one. So just a couple of costume silver hoops. Ooh, these are kind of cool. More malachites. No wonder I like them. Look at these. Those are adorable. These are on a like a hinge. This sort of filigree tulip design. And um, what's the shape? Hexagon? Hmm. I'll correct myself if need be. But those are really pretty. I like how that hinges. And on the back we have... Oh, man, I've had this symbol a few times now, and I still haven't been able to figure it out. I hope someone watching can help me there. It's like a circle with three wavy lines coming off of it. I've thought about it as an O-E or C-E, or I've looked up squid. I've looked up octopus. I, I haven't been able to find any info, but those are so cool. I really like them. Man, I hope I can find out something about that maker, though. Okay. Ooh, these things are getting my fingers dirty. Next up, what do we have? Another pair of earrings. They look like this. They have a teardrop faux pearl. Gold tone, and they scoop around your lobe. A little bit. No marks. But they're in good shape, that's for sure. Here's a little pendant with blue stones, like a sapphire look. And then, is there even CZs or is it just dots? Let's look closer. They're really good at illusions that way. Yeah, so there's no CZs in there at all, but it really does look like there is. And I'm sure we've got sterling anyway. But then again, maybe not. Not sure. Not sure. Okay. Oh, these are kind of cool. They have kind of a Art Nouveau look to them. Earrings. I think those are pretty. They're they're kind of heavy too. They're solid. They're not hollow. And they're nice on both sides. It's not just pressed. Oh, those are cool. I really like those actually. I would definitely think that they're silver, but unless I cut into them, I won't know for sure. Oh. Here's another pair of earrings. I've had a few pairs like this. This sort of hollow sterling teardrop, but this is the first one I've seen with the addition of the decorative carving on it. Yeah. And the last ones I had cleaned up so nicely that I can't help but give this one a little rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Woo! How satisfying is that? Lovely. Okay. 
What else here? I'll get a couple more items and that'll be it for this episode. Once I can find something that matches. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Another one. I guess, is that meant to be a pendant with it, perhaps? I'm not sure. We've got three of them. Uh, oh, here's a pair of earrings. Oh, yes. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I am so attracted to bohemian garnet jewelry and these are spectacular set in brass but those are so cool i prefer bohemian garnets in a ring of course because i just like rings but i love those those are definitely going to get listed as soon as i get a chance those are super cute hmm. Okay, one more. We'll do one more. And it'll be another pair of earrings. This time, super sparkly. A half hoop again with uh, CZs, I'm guessing. Look how big that back is. That's huge. Let's take it off and see if there's anything on it. No. And nothing in here either. Oh, no names or anything, but really sparkly and really pretty. Okay. There we go. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe down at the bottom. That way we can hang out again. I'm uploading every Sunday morning. And uh, if you need a little bit more in between, click on my channel icon, those two robots in love. And that'll take you right to my channel where you can find all of my videos. And there's a few of them there now. So until next time, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.